Hello, my name is Brandon, and I'm going to introduce you about a book called RoboDog, written by David Watkins. But before we get started, I want to tell you about polices. Polices do all kinds of jobs, but not only one police. Many polices come together to do one job. It is the same with police dogs. Today we're going to go through about the author, summary, lesson learned, and my personal experience. The author is David Williams. David Williams was an English comedian, actor, writer, and has a television personality. He was a famous comedian that was the judge of Britain Scott Talent. And on 2008, he started writing children's novels. And by 2023, his books were sold over 50 million copies. The characters are Robodoc, the main character, a robot police dog. This is a picture of Robodoc. Chief, Chief is in charge of the dog school. Professor. Professor is an uh, inventor of laundry machines. The Lost Patrol. The Lost Patrol is three dogs that couldn't graduate of school for so long. Velma. Velma is a pet cat of Chief and Professor. She is also the leader of the cat gang. Beginning. Creating Robo Dog. One day, Chief had a disaster in dog school. And Chief thought that if one breed of dog to do every job that the dogs do, it would be fantastic. So she asked Professor to make a robot dog. After many months, Professor finished making robot dog. Rising action, because they were jealous. When robot dog goes to dog school, other dogs hate him just because he looks and acts differently. After testing the abilities that Robodog can do, the dog becomes more jealous because Robodog can shoot eye lasers and turn into a submarine and turn into a jet and many other more abilities. And that's why the dogs discriminate him and Robodog feels sad. But robots aren't supposed to feel sad, so he feels confused too. Rising action, nobody listened. Velma held a meeting with the cats to get rid of Robodog. Because Robodog is a dog and cats hate dogs. Robodog was protecting a bank with one billion dollars. And he thought that the villains would attack from the ground because the only site that was guarded by police were the ground. But nobody listened. So when the supervillains actually came from the ground, Robodog knew so he could save the day. Climax, the dog napping. Velma was kidnapping all the dogs in dog school except the Lost Patrol because Velma didn't know that the Lost Patrol lived in a small storage. And Robodog wasn't kidnapped because he uses the same room with the Lost Patrol. And also, Velma forced Professor to make a super suit to fight with Robodog for each cat by explaining that Chief would die if she didn't. Climax, the big fight. Just in time, Robodog and the Lost Patrol were there, so they fought until only Velma was left. But then, Velma went to the city jail and freed all the prisoners in the city jail. And remember, the city had really many supervillains, so Robodog were outnumbered. But then, the supervillains started to fight because they needed to decide who would be in charge of the group. That made a big fight amongst the villains. And there were a plenty of time for Robodog to rescue the dogs and chief and professor. Falling action, all graduation. After putting every villain to jail, in dog school, all the dogs graduated. And 
Robodoc and the Lost Patrol got an award for saving them. Robodoc wanted to be a, the chief and professor's truly loved pet. So chief and professor happily decided to keep Robodoc as a pet. Ending still on patrol. If you thought that this was the end of Robodoc with police dog patrols, you are very, very wrong. Every night, Robodog decided to do a night patrol. So in the night sky, you might see Robodog. Also, if there are many kinds of these funny, cool, and mature books of David Williams, and I recommend every one of those. The lesson I learned from the story that discrimination is miserable, like when they, the dogs saw Robodog and started discriminating him. But when they realized that he was kind and reliable, like when he stayed every dog, they started to like him. So what I learned from the story in conclusion is that discrimination is miserable and we should try to see people by their insides. These are pictures of toilets in America. The very left is ladies and the very middle are men. But who are the colored? The colored are for black people. In America, they didn't allow colored, the colored to use the same room with the white people. This was only 200 years ago. A true love story related to Robodog. I had a friend named Roy in my previous school and he was new there, so I welcomed him first, but when I knew that he was smarter than me, I felt jealous. So I started to keep distance from him. And while I was keeping distance, I was not behaving good. But rather than blaming me, he gave me a Lego jet. Because the first the welcoming that I did to him on the first day of school. From then, I tried to be nice to him and to everybody. And I learned that we shouldn't discriminate anyone by any reason because they are different or act differently. So now we keep in touch and we are best friends. Thank you for listening.